Want some good reasons why to take the dog here in this game? Well, New York has been hot recently. Not necessarily in their past two games, but they carried a nine-game winning streak into those games and have covered in eight of their past ten. The Clippers, almost the opposite, having won their past two while dropping five in a row before those. The trends are not in the Clippers' favor either, with them failing to cover in five of their past six against a team with a winning record and failing to cover in 21 of their past 26 games, coming off two days rest. Meanwhile, Knicks have covered six of their past seven games against a team with a winning record and have covered 10 of their past 14 games when these teams face off in LA. In terms of gameplay, expect the Knicks to keep things close throughout the game, with the lead teetering between the two, where they then rely on Julius Randle and their defense to put things away late. For these reasons, I'm pretty confident in taking the Knicks to cover the spread in this one. Maybe half a unit on the money line? But for now, let's go one unit, New York Knicks, plus five. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.